Hi, Neve. How are you? It's Will here in studio. Hey, guys. Hi, Neve. Hi, Will. How are things? Hey, Neve. How are you? Oh, God, how are you? Good now. Good. Yeah. Cheers. Uh, how how is all back in Ireland? Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're really enjoying watching it. You, you're doing really well, Neve. Personally, you. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. It's uh, yeah, we had a tough tough go at it yesterday with the game against Collingwood, but yeah. Um, yeah, like not too bad, I suppose. But it was funny, like it was kind of market zero for a while. It was gas. We were oh, gas. running past each other quite a bit. But um, yeah, no, it's been good. We've we've kind of had a lot of games and we've had three games in the last 10 days. So it's been quite tough. But um, yeah, we've like a six a... day turnaround now for our next game. So it's not too bad. Yeah, it looked yeah. like real Irish weather at the weekend as well. Oh my God, it was like 35 degrees. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah, it was very hot. But, Melting. Um, so the Eagles weren't able to make it back-to-back -back wins, but delighted to say one half of the Eagles' Super Sisters joins us on the show. Neve, thanks for joining us. Frustrating results at the weekend. Uh, your coach mentioned that your slow starts are hampering you at this stage. Was that the same again at the weekend? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think just calling one got off to a very good start and... I suppose it put us kind of on the back foot early and we kind of caught ourselves chasing. Um, so I suppose, yeah, it, it, it's kind of been a pattern with a few of our games so far. We've kind of had slow starts and then after half time we kind of come out and um, I suppose play with no fear and kind of have a bit more belief in ourselves and we can kind of get that bit of space and utilise our speed. Um, but yeah, we've definitely been slow to start um, in a couple of our games this year and, and we lost out to a very good Collingwood side um, there yesterday. Um, Neve, it's really nice to see you. Um, I think you guys have had a tough season, the Eagles in general, but you personally, I feel, have stepped up and um, you're playing really well. How do you feel like the season's going for yourself in general? Yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying the season. I think, um, you know, personally, it's like the third year um, playing AFL, so you're learning more and more every year you come out um so yeah just i'm really enjoying it and i'm um, trying to learn as much as i can um and i suppose i've been playing on the wing the last two games so um i've been enjoying kind of that bit more space out in the wing and utilizing my uh, my speed i suppose a little bit but i suppose as a as a group and as a team we've had good passages of play but just being able to piece all of that together for four quarters is is what we're aiming for now next weekend Steve, obviously, is a big blow uh, to lose uh, Ashley McCarthy for the season. Um, have you been talking to her? How is she? And how have the team been able to respond to her? Because, as I said, it's a big loss to, to lose her. Yeah, poor Ashley had um, a very tough day out against uh, St Kilda there over in Melbourne. And, um, yeah, she just, like, yeah, she's a big loss. And um, she's she's doing okay. Um, she goes to see the surgeon tomorrow. And thank God she... She doesn't need surgery, but she's she's doing well. Um, but she's definitely a big loss for us, especially in the midfield. Um, so yeah, she's um she's doing good, but um she's she's definitely supporting us there and keeping involved with the group as much as she can. And she's very good for for support and encouragement on the sideline, especially to the young girls there as well. So um yeah, she's she's staying involved in the group and um she's been well looked after over here. Great stuff. And um, we know the Western Australia border has been closed and that resulted in you staying in a hub situation and having to stay in Melbourne for a few weeks. How difficult was that for the group? Yeah, um, so initially we were planned to go over for three weeks and play four games. Um, so, yeah, I suppose it was, was quite challenging, um, more so for a lot of the, the girls here who, have, who are full-time workers and had to leave their jobs and stuff and family and friends. Um, but yeah, it was it was quite tough. We were in a hub in a hotel and we were allowed outside with masks on for walks. But um, it was very strict, really. We were in a hotel and um, really in our own bubble. But in the second week, we got hit with COVID. So we um, we had to two of our games cancelled and um, we ended up staying for, I think, three and a half weeks and, and got two games played uh, with the four day turnaround. So, yeah, it, it was tough. Um, it was definitely different, but... We were just grateful to be able to play our games, I suppose, after that. And um, we're in quarantine at the minute now back in Perth because the WA borders um, are quite strict. And we're here in quarantine for a week, but we're allowed to leave for trainings and for the match yesterday. So it's not too bad, really. And we've one more day left of quarantine. So, um, yeah, it's going OK. Um, but, yeah, we, we can't wait to get back to normal life now in the next two days.
Eva, bet you can't. Listen, just two little quick questions to finish off on. Firstly, who's your tip for the title? And secondly, as you said, it's your third season out there. Have you really adjusted now? Is this normal life, half your time in Ireland, half your time in Australia? Yeah, um, I suppose a lot of people say I'm skipping winter wherever I go. Um, but yeah, it's um, I'm really enjoying it. Um, yeah, six months here and six months at home. And I kind of, I know coming out here that I've, I've six months to kind of work hard and um, put everything into it. And, and then I look forward to going home to see family and friends and back to play with Mayo and with my club, my Davids as well. So um, yeah, really enjoying that. Um, the two places are a lot different. Um, just the heat alone, it was 35 degrees at the weekend playing um so yeah i'm really enjoying it um but yeah i suppose it's it's something different and um yeah we're giving it our best shot great stuff okay you can tell us the next time you're on who's going to win the title okay this oh yes <laughs> Neve, thanks so much for joining yeah, us on I... the show this week we wish you a uh, grace I... your sister ashling all and all the eagles the very best for the rest of the season before we go let's take Thank a quick look at the game